I'm going to show you how to fix your AutoCAD XREF problems and we are starting right now. AutoCAD XREF problem number one. Oh no, my AutoCAD XREF palette missing. If you don't see your XREF palette by typing the shortcut XR and pressing enter, it might be hiding anywhere outside your screen. So to fix this issue, type CUI and enter. Next, select your current workspace. Open the Palettes section and click External Reference. Then go on the Properties and change the Show to Yes. Also change the or orientation from floating to either left or right. Finally click Apply and OK. As you can see, your AutoCAD XREF palette missing problem was solved. AutoCAD XREF problem number 2. XREF disappears when binding. As you can see, if I try to bind this existing external reference or XREF, by going to the XREF palette and click on it, right click and choose bind. We have the following options. If we try first bind and click OK, you can see that nothing really happens. My external reference is still there. So let's try the next option. So click your XREF, right click on it, choose bind, and then insert this time. So let's click OK. And you're still having the same XREF binding problem. So you might experience even the XREF disappear when you choose the bind option. So let's solve this. To fix this, the first thing that you can do is use the purge command. So let's try purge and press enter. Then click or type all and press enter. Asterisk, enter. And N for no and press enter. So if we try to Bind again, let's see what happens. We're still having the same issue, so let's go to the second alternative. So let's type rename and press enter. This will open the rename dialog box. So click blocks. So the name of our XREF was X base so let's type let's type X base as you can see it shows right here and this is causing the issue because there is a block somehow with the same name as our XREF so let's rename it to anything and press OK now, as you can see, our XREF is there, so let's try to bind it this time. So, bind, insert, and OK. Let me select this XREF, and as you can see, it is now a block reference. So you successfully bind your AutoCAD XREF. Awesome. You can now explode this block using the X 
for explode shortcut and press enter. Awesome. AutoCAD XREF problem number three. I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. Hello there, I'm Irwin, but you might know me as the Lazy Architecto for time saving AutoCAD tools and tutorials for architects. Join us by subscribing and clicking the bell. So, AutoCAD XREF problem number three. AutoCAD XREF color doesn't update. If we click our XREF and right click on it to open it, and if we change a color of one of our layers, let's say for instance, I'll change the color of this wall to red for instance and click OK. Then if I save using the QSAVE command, now that I go to the file where I extract the base plan, reload from the extract palette, you will see that the color still is not updating. So to fix this, go ahead and type bees retain and press enter set it to zero and press enter again now let's try to reload our extra again and as you can see your AutoCAD extra color doesn't update was solved so do you have any other AutoCAD extra problems let me help you in the comments below.